years of experience managing obstetrics and gynecology journal. Um, it is one of the most respected and consulted journals in the industry. Um, could you please tell us a bit more about your roles and responsibilities as well as about the journal? Yes, I'm happy to. So Obstetrics and Gynecology is a monthly peer-reviewed journal. It's uh, owned by the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists and published by Walters Kluwer Health. We have over 46,000 subscribers who are the fellows of the American College of OBGYNs. So they are practicing physicians and mostly in the United States, but also uh, many international as well. So our journal is focused on clinical medicine. Our journal receives over 2,200 submissions per year, and we accept probably between 18 and 20% of those. Um, most articles go through peer review, although we have started editorially rejecting a select group before peer review. Um, peer review consists of three, um, mostly usually three people. One person is a member of our editorial board and the other two people are experts in that field. Our editorial board really serves as um, sort of the, the eye of the general reader out in practice. Um, we have three editors, an editor-in-chief, associate editor in gynecology, and associate editor in obstetrics. Um, and they are all practicing uh, clinicians at this time. Um, they are remote to our office, so we don't see them in person every day, but we do talk with them by phone once per week, um, which is fantastic because that's actually where all of our editors discuss the manuscripts that are to be rejected or um, sent out for revision or accepted. So it's a great opportunity for those, uh, the three editors and our statistical editor to consult on all of the manuscripts uh, that come through our office. And I hopefully it's reassuring for authors too because it's not as if one, only one person has a sole uh, final say on something. It's really collaborative effort and uh, we have a great team. That's fantastic. And uh, some, a little bit more about your, your particular role as a senior director and managing editor uh, for the journal and the society. So could you throw some more light on that? Sure, absolutely. So uh, there are five people who work for the journal full time. Myself, the managing editor. We have a manuscript editor, production editor, an editorial administrator, and editorial assistant. So our editorial assistant and editorial administrator work very closely with their editors to manage the peer review process. So my role is to um, oversee that process, and by that I mean to um, keep an eye on what's new and important out in the field, to um, stay up to date with materials coming out of the Committee of Publication Ethics, the Council of Science Editors, any of those professional publishing organizations to ensure that our journal is following best practices and acting ethically. Um, and there's also the day-to-day -day housekeeping types of things and making sure um, that we are, we are um, treating our reviewers well and our authors well. Part of that is, is timing. So that's something that we keep a close eye on and we monitor uh, frequently. So every week we're actually looking at statistics about what kind of manuscripts we have and where they are in the process. So um, how many are out for revision, how many are under peer review, how many have been accepted and are with the publisher for the next issue. So we're always monitoring that entire workflow from beginning to end to make sure that we're um, processing things in a timely manner and uh, that we're not building up a backlog, but that we're also not having too few, so that we're sort of in a jam when we're at the end of the cycle. So that's a large part of that, so keeping track of statistics. We also look at monthly statistics, and that's looking at how long it took a paper to get through the process from submission to publication. And we look at different intervals along the way. How long does a manuscript um, take to get through peer review? How long does the editor take to make a decision? How long does it take to be revised? How long does that second editor's decision take? And then how long does it stay in our office before it's transmitted to the publisher? So that's an example of some uh, statistics that we track, that I track quite regularly. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we have also have staff meetings. Uh, t we try to do that twice per month, and that's an opportunity for all of my team to, to um, talk
talk about what projects we're working on and also you know, if there's something that's come up to address that and to, um, to uh, fix it if we need to. Uh, so uh, a lot of my job also entails emailing and communicating with many different people. So our journal is published by a commercial publisher, so I coordinate activities and communicate quite frequently with our publisher, with our production editor, with um, even with ad sales, all of those groups of people, um, marketing, any of those people at our publisher, uh, because it takes a big team to publish a journal. And so part of my job is just, you know, just communicating with, with that group. Along those same lines, another job of mine is to communicate with our, um, our society, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. So um, there are many different colleagues that I have within the college and they do a range of things. Um, we have a publications department, there's a resource center, there's communications, marketing. So um, sometimes it's just meeting with them to see you know, where we are in certain projects um, to help support them. Although we don't, um, uh, although our journal is editorially independent from the college, we are of course part of the college. So, um, so it's just managing those relationships and being open and, and uh, available to my colleagues. Um, is, and, um, and of course the budget uh, is an important component of my job, keeping track of that, making sure that we're on track. Um, so just being responsible financially is a big component of my job as well. Um, from the editorial side, one of my jobs is also to, to monitor what we're publishing and make sure that there's a quality, uh, that we're producing a quality product. And so, um, although I don't copy edit manuscripts anymore, I certainly look at page proofs and I can advise on uh, style matters, um, work, I help our production editor work on art, um, so there's that editorial component of my job as well. And then finally, there is a web component of my job and it requires you know, knowledge of the digital world. And so that's everything from a, a web platform to social media. So our, what our, um, our journal is hosted on uh, Walters Kluwer's platform. And every month when our issue goes live, we, ha we do some things behind the scenes to make sure it looks good and, and um, add some extra content there that we hope will be useful for our readers. But then we also have social media platform. We're on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, actually. Um, and so at, and social media requires engagement on the part of the editorial office. So I work with my staff to think about what we're going to post that week and then monitor what we've posted to see if there's conversations out there that we need to address and respond to in a timely manner.